So let's talk about Aaron Nola. Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about is it time to move on from Aaron Nola? So before we get started in today's video, if you are new to my channel, so make sure you hit that like button to help me rank up on YouTube and for the algorithm to help push out my new videos. Also hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on so you guys will be instantly notified when I upload a new video or multiple videos or a couple of gaming streams. Also get in the comment section down below. Yo, let me know what you guys think about uh, my take on Aaron Nola. Also, a huge shout out to the people at Spotlight Sports Network for partnering with me. Let's keep let's keep this partnership going. Also, if anyone is interested in getting my Philly Sports Talk podcast merch, my Teespring store link will be down below in the description. So go copy yourself some merch. Also, you can also follow my podcast series, Sports Talk Podcast, every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put the play playlist link down below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Philly Podcast YT. You can also follow me on Instagram at Philly Sports 97. You can also follow me on TikTok at Philly Sports 97. Also, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Philly Sports Podcast. So, with that out of the way, let's jump right into this. So, obviously, by, by the guy, so by, so you guys pretty much read the title and thumbnail. Is it time to move on from Maranola? For me, I say yes because number one, I mean, he's been really inconsistent. It's kind of been unreliable in some games that he's pitched. Um, just be especially in the month of September, where that's just kind of his weakness. And um, I just kind of feel like it's just where. I mean, I mean, obviously we're in the play at the time of this recording. Phillies uh, defeated the Pittsburgh Pirates six to eight. Um, the Phillies and especially Aaron Nolan himself, like um, I just kind of feel like it's just like. I don't feel like he's going to be that much reliable, if we're, despite the fact where he's still in a playoff rate or trying to he's get a playoff spot. But I have written down, you know, some of his numbers uh, in the month of September. Like, for example, like he, had, I mean, obviously in the month of September, I mean his ERA is not bad in the month of September, but he has a career uh, an ERA of four point five one in the month of September alone. He's made twenty eight outings, but only eleven of them were quality starts. But he gave he's gave, he's given up five earned runs and this, and eight starts. Twenty four of those, he in which he's recorded at least five innings of work. And it kind of sometimes. And the reason why I say it is because sometimes a lot of the hitters are reaching his pitch count up, and 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 not to mention the fact that despite you know having him for like the first for five seasons, the fact and he's also had a hard time putting uh, hitters away with two strikes, which is another big weakness for him and. The fact that if he and I said this before, if he cannot put hitters away at the with two strikes, I just don't feel like he's going to be that very reliable. I mean, look, 26, 2018 and twenty nineteen were his best seasons, right? Both were he won like he won like sixteen games in twenty eight or no, sorry, I'm sorry, it's 20, 17 games. He was a seventeen. He had this record seventeen and six. Which is his, his when he in 2018 where he finished third in the Cy Young voting, 2019 I think he, he finished like it with 12 wins. So I mean, is this, I mean he's had some some like two good years, but the fact the fact of the matter is like it, I mean it was a good year, but he kind of regressed just a tiny little bit. But now we're seeing that 2020 and in, in this season he's really regressed. Um, 13 starts in which he has made. Or that he made thirteen starts, but it only during those starts he's only gone six innings. None of the, and none of the starts that he's made just in the month of September alone, he has gone at least seven. So, so he's made some starts that goes from like from five innings to six innings to seven innings. Nothing past nothing anything. Nothing he has now made any starts that went past seven. Unfortunately. Um, a little, a little note. Uh, the Phillies, in the last five starts that when Aaron Nola pitches, especially here in the month of September, the Phillies have lost five of those starts by Aaron Nola. But career-wise, uh, ERA in the month of September, he is in five career starts in this month alone. Aaron Nola has a career ERA of six point five one. Wait, I mean, sounds it not good. I mean, it could have been worse, but and then 
Um, with it, with two outs that he pitches, he, his ERA uh, bumps up to seven point four nine with two outs, which is second highest among 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 pitchers. But when he has men in scoring position, his ERA blows up even more to a six. 15.59 ERA with men in scoring position. So that kind of tells you that the that Aaron Nola, I just don't feel like Aaron Nola's that much of a reliable ace that he thought he could be. You know, obviously, you know, like I said before, 2018 and 2019 were his good two were good seasons with for him. But as soon as 2020 hit and 2021, the obviously the season, he just kind of started, he started to regress. But the fact the fact of the matter is that the if Nola can't figure this out, or with the, whatever the case is causing him, I don't think we. I don't think I think he's. I mean, we all knew he's no longer the ace of the staff. It's, it's just plain and simple. Like he's very inconsistent. Like he can't put hitters away with two strikes. His ERA kind of blows up at just in this month of September alone. I mean, he cannot. There are times where he may make starts where he may not go more than past five. Sometimes past six. Sometimes he never goes past seven. So, I mean, Aaron, I just kind of feel like Aaron Nola just doesn't have the stuff that he once had. I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, during spring training, he worked on with a new pitch of the gutter, but he really just, he just, he just, he forces himself to make some good p- make pitches, which should not happen. Like, it should just, like, easy fundamentals. But the fact that the matter is that he forces some of the pitches, like, like, Sometimes he just doesn't have it. What do you guys think? You know, is it really time to move on from Aaron Nola? Because I kind of think, I believe, I think that he should, because it's obviously, in this, it's since we're in the playoff race, and I think Aaron Nola's kind of unreliable. But maybe that's up for you guys to decide. But with that being said, this is Robert from the Philly Sports Talk Podcast. I'll see you guys in the next video.